Now let us look at your account on the learning management system. The URL or the web address is www.openlearn.lk and we will go there and log in in a moment. Your username has been set as your national identity card number. Uh, if you have a V letter in it, you have to use a simple V. Many of you will not be having the V, so then it's just the digits that are there. Your default password has been set to your national identity card number followed by the at sign and 2024. Now here, if you have a V, you have to use the capital V. That's important to understand, right? Usernames are not case sensitive, but passwords are. So we have used the capital V for the default password. Now, as you will see, as soon as you log in with this default password, the system will make you change it because we want secure password and you have to remember your new password. That's your responsibility. I will tell you what happens if you forget it. But after you log in the first time and change your password, the account is yours to manage. Some of you have provided a passport number. Uh, it will work in the same way. The username uh, can be the passport number with a simple N, whereas the password will have a capital N. Right? Once again, I will tell you, if you cannot log in on the first attempt, that means if the default, if the username and default password don't work, please email us at this email address. Right? When you send an email, and this is for sending any email or making any post, you must always have a suitable subject. Right? Don't just say problem or something at the subject line. If you are having this problem, you say cannot log into LMS. Then in the message, that is a subject line. The message, you must always include your name and NIC and explain what the problem is. And if you think it's useful to give a screenshot, you can include the screenshot in your email. Now, like I said just a little while ago, once you log in for the first time and change your password, which is post, you have control of your LMS account. Please do not email us if you forget your password. If you forget your password after changing it, we will, this video will show you what to do and you have to follow those instructions. We are going to show you today the whole support program. So there is a general learning management system page where we will talk about the selection test and later on we will talk about registration and other details of the program. But in addition there are three special pages, especially one about the future careers bridge introduction to computers and computer programming and then one for the software industry which I will also show you today. Now this support program is open for all applicants. Even if you do not pass or not selected after the selection test, you are very welcome to use this learning management system until mid-December when the students who are going to register will register. After that, after the registration, this LMS will be closed and the students who have registered will be moved to our normal open university teaching LMS. Okay. So let us log in and have a look. So the web address that was given is www.openlearn.lk. This is what you will see when you are not logged in. Right? It will say welcome to open learn and various other things. But the first thing to do is to log in. Now I have created a dummy student account so that I can make this video. It has the username which is an NIC number that looks like this. 
and it will have a V. So it has a simple V. Now what was the password? Remind yourself what the password is from the directions. The same NIC number with a capital V followed by at and 2024. Then you click login and you can decide in your own computer whether to save the password or not. If it is your own computer and nobody else has access, you could save the password but otherwise you should be careful about doing this because somebody else can access your LMS account and create problems for you. So I am not saving this one. The very first thing the system will ask you to do is to change your password. You cannot go on without changing your password. So we type in the current password. And then we will type in a new password. Now you have to repeat the new password. The system will check that you know it correctly. And save changes. Again, we will not save this password. So the password has been changed. And we can continue on. However, before and they come to something called the dashboard. That is the first welcome page where you will see the courses for which you have been registered. Right? Four students. Four courses are here. But before we do anything else, I will show you how to reset your password if you have a problem, right? So we can log out. The logging out is come here and we can log in again. Now let us say that we have forgotten the password. So I can put in my username which is saved already for me here. But I cannot remember the password. Then you have to click. Now please do not email us if you have forgotten the new password, right? It's up to you to obtain a password reset. You click on forgotten your username or password and you can search either by the username that you have been given or by your own email address. Every account on the learning management system is linked to one email address and in this case we have used the email address that you gave at your application, your private email address. Once you get registered as Open University students, you'll be given an open university email address and that will be used. So I will search by username which is this here and search. Now the system tells me that if I supply the correct username or email address, then an email should have been sent to you. So when you do password reset, you have to go to the email address that you gave us because that is what is in the system. Our dummy student the email address given is our BSC info email address, right? So we are expecting an email to come here. In fact, there are already some other emails coming here. And the password reset request has come. So it says the password reset request was set for your account at openlearn.lk, right? So, we will go on to that link and again we can set the new password. Right? So, you can change the password as you like. And we will save the change. So that is 
what you have to do if you lose your password. Please do not bother us again. After we have learned how to reset the password in case we forget it, it's very important to set your preferences in the learning management system. You can access the preferences in the same button that you got the logout button. Here we click on preferences. Now there are many things here in preferences and I am going to only show you a few things here. First of all, we can edit our profile. When you click on the profile, you can make certain changes. The email address we cannot change because that is the email address that the system is connecting to us with. We can't change that. The administrator of the system has to do it. But here one thing that you will see is everybody is given the first name and last name like this. This is because we want you to have the freedom to put in whatever first name and last name that you want. So I am going to put this account is dummy student. After this, this account will be known as dummy student when we post them. Then I recommend that you hide your email address from everybody. That is part of your private uh, information. Students should only communicate with you on the LMS. They should not have access to your email address. So I strongly recommend that you hide the email address from non-privileged users. Right? Then you can put in your address and so on. You can write a short description about yourself and if you want, you can upload an image, but please understand that this image will be visible to other students. So, like I am going to mention later in this presentation, there have been problems with misuse of images. So, if you are uploading an image, please uh, put an image that cannot be misused, uh, just your face for example, or maybe some symbol that you are happy to be known by. Uh, but Think about that carefully before you put an image, right? Okay, so now we are going to save the changes here. Then you can see that up here now the name has changed to dummy student. Now the very important preference I want to show you here is the forum preferences. And here the system is asking you whether you want an email for based on what is happening in the system. So here at the moment it is set to send you one email every time somebody posts something. That will lead to far too many emails. So I recommend that you go to daily email with subjects. That way every day you will get one email showing what has been happening on the learning management system. You can look at the subjects and if it's interesting to you, you can go and look at them. Forum auto subscribe, definitely you should subscribe to the forums that you post because if somebody responds, then you will be given a notification. And I also recommend that you highlight new posts. So when you go to the LMS, you will see what is new uh, and the system will tell you, okay, in this forum there is something that you have not read. Right? And when sending the forum post notifications, probably you should write, do not mark the post as red, so that when you go to the LMS, you will still see it as red. You can change this as you like. So these are my recommendations and we save the changes. So now that we have completed editing our profile, adding our name and making these changes in the preferences, we go to the dashboard and go to our courses.